This is Hello Glass with another artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? My name is Hans Godel Frabel. <laughs> How long have you been making glass and do you consider I'm, yourself a master? I'm making glass now about 53 years. Uh, do you consider yourself a master? Yes, I think so. I'm Really, I'm one of the first ones who started out between Littleton, Chihuly, and myself. I used the carnival glass, the little tiny knickknacks, and tried to make sculptures out of it, big sculptures. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? The style I learned, or we say the glass I learned with, with borosilicate, because when I started out, it was only borosilicate on the market, that was it. It was soft glass, but I wasn't trained in soft glass, because it was totally different. Cool. Material in that sense. What state do you call home for your glass shop? Atlanta. Nice. You have a big studio called Frable here? Yes, I do. Do you own or work under your own, uh, glass brand or an art name? Uh, I work under my, <clears throat> my name. Frable is our. Uh, F R A B E L. Yes. And also, by the way, I have now sold out to another person. He bought the studio, he bought the company, and bought the name. Nice. And it will continue. Nice. Well, I have to think about it. I'm 73 years old, you know, I don't live well. <laughs> Do you make your living solely off glassware? Oh, yes. <laughs> if you could make glass with anyone living, who would that be? Oh, that's a tough question. Hmm? Your favorite. I, could, I have to think about that. Can you cut that off? Uh, it's all okay. Mm -hmm. what, what? Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. That guy, you, the person I love, you love, William Morris? Yeah, oh, yeah, William Morris. Well, he's more furnace glass broad, but he's one of my favorites. Nice. William Morris, yeah. Okay. What, you, what style or technique in glass is hardest for you to do? Hardest for me to do is modern forms and shapes. Because you can see every little mistake on it. And you make a nice curve, the curve has to be perfect. Or when you gradually thinning some piece has to be equally. If you do flowers or whatever, one petal is higher, lower, or one is bigger, a little bit or small, it's nature. <laughs> so with nature you can cheat. With modern pieces you can. <laughs> Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. More than and uh, nobody, because there was nobody there when I started. <laughs> Good answer. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in your retirement? No, not. I don't. Okay, now that's not fair. <laughs> I, don't know I lost a little bit of spunk. You understand what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, little tightness. Yeah, I mean, when I was 35. 40, or even my 40s, 50s, uh, I had to come up with new things, new shapes, new forms, new this and this. And all that testosterone is gone somehow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do it make sense? It makes perfect sense. Okay. Name two glass artists that impress you. Well, impression is uh, more than, and definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> the little hippo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some, I mean, I have to admire all the little pipe makers. Mm -hmm. They're doing really, really good. Yeah, really good. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? When I first saw it, well, the only thing I really saw first was Chihuly. <clears throat> Furnace glass blowing, he can go way big. Impressive, but you cannot do any detail work. And very close also I was with Littleton. He was very modern, and he was really a very nice, nice, nice person. And they both impressed me, and they are both more or less on the modern side. Worst injury you ever got making glass art? 
worst injury I had um, on my torch, I worked at Georgia Tech made laboratory instruments. And the hole, the hose, what you call it, the gas hose came off from the torch. And a big flame came out and just roasted my right hand. No, left hand, yeah, my left hand. And the skin was just hanging down. I got to the hospital right away. That's the reason still I wear my watch on the right side, you mostly on the left side. On the right side I got so used, used to it before I got so burned. But no scars, nothing. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? You asked me that a little bit late. Yeah. You should have been here 30 years ago. <laughs> Quite good. Good, good answer. How does a glass fan or buyer get a hold of you or get to buy your work? First, we had about uh, four galleries here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And everything has changed. We had one gallery in underground Atlanta, got bankruptcy. Peachtree Center, the main where all the high-rise office buildings are. That place became a food court. Lenox Square, one of the biggest shopping malls in the United States, became Mafia. <laughs> so, and uh, <clears throat> we had one in Bucket, a gallery, and there's so much construction that nobody goes there to go shopping. So we had to close everything, and we have only this place here right now. Do you have a website? And uh, okay, that's how we Atlanta has a lot of uh, visitors mm -hmm. and things. So. We really got pretty well known, but you can see on all the photographs and things we have here. Otherwise, website, yeah. What's your website? It is Frable.com and? Frablestudios.com, Frable.com, and Frableartglass.com. Um, okay. well, you've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay young forever and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> this was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time.